Hi, and welcome to my quick guide of the quest Animal Magnetism. The quest requirements are Restless Ghost, Earned Chicken and Priest in Peril, and the set requirements are 18 Slayer, 19 Crafting, 30 Ranged and 35 Woodcutting. For the items needed are a Ghost Beak Amulet, a Mithril Axe, Holy Symbol, 5 Iron Bars, a Hammer is quite important, a Hard Leather, Polished Buttons, which you can buy from the Grand Exchange, or you can get them yourself by pickpocketing ham members, and then also 20 Ecto Tokens. But if you do not own any, then you will need to have at least 4 bones of any kind, depending on how much prayer XP you want from them, as well as 16 coins. For the recommended items, that's pretty simple, are just some weight reducing armor and 2 stamina potions should be enough, because we do not need to fight anything during this quest. And for the teleports, First, if you do not own the 20 Ecto Tokens already, then you will need to have one teleportation method to any Charger ship. I will be using a Charge Glory to Musa Point. Next, an Ecto File, but if you haven't completed Ghost Ahoy quest, then you will need to have 4100 coins. One teleportation method to Fankenstrain's Castle, and if you do not have an Ecto File, then you will need to bring along two of these teleports. One teleport to any bank to unnote your five iron bars. 4 teleportation methods to Drainer Manor, 1 to Remington, 1 to Berthope, and then 1 after the quest is completed to get out of here. Right, where to start this quest is here in Drainer Manor, just north of Drainer Village. Here, on the main floor, go to the southwestern room and there you'll find a bookcase. Search it to open the secret door and behind you'll find Ava. Talk to her and select option 1. Next, we will need to bring her 3 items in a specific order. For the first one, we will need to have 20 Ecto Tokens. So, if you already have the 20 Ecto Tokens, you can skip this part, but for those who do not, let's teleport to any charter ship. I will be going to Karamja. From here in Karamja, I simply need to go east to the charter crew members. So here at the trader crew members, let's trade them and we will need to buy 4 empty pots for 2 GP each, 1, 2, 3, 4, as well as 4 buckets of slime. But since I do not have enough inventory, I will be wielding my axe. Alright, there we go. Once you have your 4 bones, 4 buckets of slime and 4 empty pots, we will now need to go to Port Pass Matters. If you've used one of my guides of the Priest in Peril quest, then I've told you to enter Mauritania after the quest is completed. This is so you can charter with the crew members to Port Pass Matters. If this option is not here, that means you have not entered Mauritania before. First enter Mauritania and then you can take the boat to Port Pass Matters. But if you have already completed the Goza Hoi quest, simply empty your Ecto file and you are right there. So let's go upstairs the Ectofunctus and let's grind our four bones. Once the fourth bone has been grinded, let's go back downstairs. And now we simply need to worship the Ectofunctus. Be sure to equip your Ghost Beak Amulet and let's talk to any ghost here besides Necroveris and they will give us 20 Ecto Tokens. Alright, once we have these we can continue with our quest. Let's go a bit west-northwest to the Poor Pass Matters farm. And on our way there, we may as well just drop our buckets and pots. We don't need them anymore. We have our egg tokens. So here at the farm, let's enter the shop, talk to Alice and select option 4.
Next, run west into the cow field and inside you will find Alice's husband. Talk to him. Next, let's return to Alice and select option 4 and we will need to run in between Alice and Alice's husband 4 times. After speaking to Alice, return to the husband. Next, let's return to Alice. Let's talk to her, select option 4. And the husband has put the money in the bank. But she doesn't know the bank pin, so let's return to Alice's husband. Once again, let's ask for the bank pin. But obviously he will not give it to a random stranger, so once again let's return to Alice and select option 4 for the last time. And she will mention the old crone. There is where we'll need to go next, so let's teleport to Fagenstrain's castle and run west. The old crone is located just west of Fengerstrain's castle, or just east of the Slayer Tower. Just follow the dirt road until it goes north. Simply continue running west, until you see a small house next to the Slayer Tower. Let's enter that building. Talk to the old crone twice and select twice option 2. Then once again option 2. After this conversation is over we will need to return to Alice. So let's either use your second Fangastrain Castle teleport or just empty your ectophile and let's return to Alice's husband. So here in the undead cow field, let's talk to Alice's husband and select option 1. Next, let's talk to him again and this will trigger a cutscene. Alright, once the cutscene is over, let's talk to Alice's husband one last time and select option 1 and then 2. Next, you have obtained item 1 out of 3. Alright, since you've obtained item number 1, let's go to the bank to prepare to get item number 2. So let's first go to the bank. I will be using my Edgefield teleport. And let's now unnote our iron bars. Next, let's return to Drainer Manor and give these undead chickens to Ava. Alright, after this conversation is over, we will need to exit her room. And we'll need to enter the room with the cooking sign just north. in the northwestern corner of the first floor. In this room you should find a witch. 
Talk to her twice. Where's the witch? Oh, there we go. And she will want five iron bars. Let's talk to her again, since we already have these. And next, we will need to go to the Remington mine. I will be using my house teleport. Since my house is in Remington, then I simply need to go a little bit northeast. And inside of the Remington mine, you will need to make your character face north. Use your hammer on the selected iron to make it into a bar magnet. Next, let's return and give this to Ava. And this will be item 2 out of 3. After this conversation is over, we will need to go outside of the Drainer Manor. So the fastest way would be just to teleport to the Drainer Manor once again. And just south of the large door, you will find next to the road some undead trees that attack you with a yellow chop option. Try to chop them and the chat box will tell you to report this to Ava. Let's do so. After we are done talking to Ava, we will need to go to Berthope. So, King's Necklace, option 1. I think that is the fastest way to go to Turiel, the Slayer Master located east. Located at the eastern part of Berthope. Let's talk to Turiel and select option 4. And he will want a holy symbol. Since you already have it, talk to him again and select option 4 and then 1. Since we have our blessed axe, let's return to Drainer Manor. Let's chop down one of these attacking undead trees until we have a twig. Let's give one of these to Ava. Let's talk to her again to receive the research notes. Then click on them to translate and you'll see a messed up page with some buttons. Click on button number 1, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8 and then close it. Then give this back to Ava. And now the final thing that we'll need to do is use the polish buttons with the hard letter in your inventory on the pattern and give this container back to Ava to complete your quest. And congratulations, you've completed Animal Magnetism Quest. You are awarded with 1000 crafting, fletching and slayer experience, as well as 2500 woodcutting experience, as well as one quest point and Ava's attractor. Now what you've also unlocked is a quest requirement for Dragon Slayer 2, as well as the right click option devices on Ava which will allow you to buy Ava's Attractor for 1000 coins or Ava's Accumulator for 1000 coins and 75 steel arrows, but this requires your account to have 50 ranged. Ava's Attractors automatically recovers 60% of the shot ammo, Accumulators recovers automatically 72% of the shot ammo, and after the completion of Dragon Slayer 2, the Ava's Assembler can recover 80% of the shot ammunition automatically. Alright, this was my quick guide of the Animal Magnetism quest. Hopefully it has helped. Subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks, bye.